Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate Saint Maximilian Kolbe, a priest and a martyr who offered his life to replace a man, a father to be killed in the concentration camp. He did this so that he could save the life of a father and the life also of his family. And so today, we offer this Mass for families, especially those who are undergoing struggles at this point, families who have sick members who are fighting for their lives. We offer also this for families who have lost loved ones, from their homes. In this Mass, we offer and lift up to the Lord the intentions of our families that through the intercession of Saint Maximilian Kolbe, He may save us and give us life. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr Saint Maximilian Kolbe with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem and addressed them, saying, Fear the Lord and serve Him completely and sincerely. Cast out the gods your father served beyond the river and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve, the gods your father served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose country you are dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord for the service of other gods. For it was the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of a state of slavery. He performed those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us along our entire journey and among all the peoples through whom we pass. At our approach, the Lord drove out all the peoples, including the Amorites who dwelt in the land. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for He is our God. Joshua in turn said to the people, you may not be able to serve the Lord, for He is a holy God. He is a jealous God who will not forgive your transgressions or your sins. If, after the good He has done for you, you forsake the Lord and serve strange gods, He will do evil to you and destroy you. But the people answered Joshua, We will still serve the Lord. Joshua therefore said to the people, You are your own witnesses that you have chosen to serve the Lord. They replied, We are indeed. Joshua continued, Now therefore, put away the strange gods that are among you, and turn your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. Then the people promised Joshua, we will serve the Lord our God and obey His voice. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day and made statutes and ordinances for them at Shechem, which he recorded in the book of the law of God. Then he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak that was in the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said to all the people, this stone shall be our witness, for it has heard all the words which the Lord spoke to us. It shall be a witness against you, should you wish to deny your God. Then Joshua dismissed the people, each to his own heritage. After these events, Joshua, son of Nun, servant of the Lord, died at the age of a hundred and ten. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. 
I say to the Lord, My Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life. Fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me. And do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we thank the Lord Today, in this celebration of the Mass, for the gift of our families, we will see in our readings today how for Jesus, families are important because they are given by God and that families should be consecrated to God. Let me begin with uh, our gospel today. Jesus gives his love and his import and importance to children. Nakita natin sa Ebanghelyo ngayong araw kung paanong ang mga bata ay gustong lumapit kay Jesus. Subalit, sinaway ng mga alagad ang mga bata. Siguro dahil ayaw nilang magulo at maingayan si Jesus. Pero ang sabi ni Jesus sa mga alagad, huwag niyo silang sawayin. Hayaan ninyong lumapit sa akin ang mga bata. At binasbasa ni Jesus ang mga bata, ipinatong ang kanyang kamay sa mga ulo ng mga bata. Jesus told His disciples not to rebuke the children and to drive them away, but to let the children come to Him. My dear brothers and sisters, I think this is an important question for many of us today, especially the parents, the elders within the family. Do we let the children go to Jesus? Or are we preventing them to go to Jesus? Hinahayaan kaya natin na ang mga bata ay mapalapit kay Jesus o baka sa ating sinasabi, sa ating ginagawa, sa nakikita ng mga bata sa atin 
ay lalo silang napapalayo kay Jesus. Jesus is not just asking them not to prevent the children from Him, but Jesus is asking them to bring the children to Him. And so in your family, in your homes, do you bring the children to Jesus? Or do you just bring the children to computers, to their favorite games, to their favorite movies or television shows? Baka hindi na natin nailalapit ang mga bata kay Jesus sa panahon ngayon na napaka-busy na natin nakatingin sa ating mga cellphone screens, sa mga distractions at nakakalimutan na nating ilapit ang mga bata kay Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus reminds us today, bring the children to me. Sana po sa loob ng mga tahanan natin ay nailalapit pa ninyo ang mga bata, ang mga kabataan kay Jesus. In our first reading today, we see here the resolve of Joshua and the people of Israel. As they were gathered by Joshua, Joshua told the people that as a family, they need to consecrate themselves to God. That is why Joshua said, and this is a famous, a famous Bible passage to many of us. This comes from the 24th chapter of the book of Joshua. It is he that said, As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Ako, bilang tatay, sabi ni Josue, kasama ng aking sambahayan, ng aking pamilya, at ng aking angkan, kami ay maglilingkod sa Diyos. And Joshua became a good example to the people of Israel. And so the different heads of the families, the fathers who came to meet Joshua also said, We will do also likewise. For me and our household, we will also serve the Lord. How beautiful it is for a family to come closer to God. Hindi lamang mga bata ang mapapalapit kay Jesus at sa Diyos, kundi sa unang pagbasa, ang mga tatay mismo, ang pinuno ng sambahayan, ay nagsasabing, dadalhin ko ang aking pamilya, ang aking tahanan, ang aking sambahayan, papalapit sa paglilingkod sa Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, isn't this the right time for us, for families, to again become closer to God? I know families now are staying at home. Children, they cannot go out of the house. The elderly, they stay home also. And many of our brothers and sisters also are working at home. Siguro, ilang buwan na kayong magkakasama sa mga tahanan. Sabi nga nung iba, Father, nagkakasawaan na kami, <laughs> magkakapatid, no? nagkakasawaan na kayong magkita. Pero baka ito ang panahon para ang pamilya ay magkakasama-sama muli, magdasal, manalangin, magbasa ng salita ng Diyos, magdiwang ng banal na misa kahit online. Kapag ikaw ay nagsisimba ng online mass, ayain mo ang kapatid mo, ayain mo ang mga anak mo, ayain mo ang mga apo mo, ang asawa mo. Para kay Josue sa unang pagbasa, hindi lamang siya ang maglilingkod sa Diyos. Kasama niya ang kanyang buong pamilya at ang kanyang tahanan. 
we will only allow the children to go to God, to go to Jesus, if the parents and the elderly are also close and consecrated to God. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate St. Maximilian Kolbe. And I think he is also a patron of the family. Why? Because he offered his life to save a family. St. Maximilian Kolbe was a Franciscan conventual priest. He was imprisoned in a concentration camp in Auschwitz. And when a prisoner was chosen to be killed by the guards, he heard that the prisoner was crying because he said, I am a father, please do not kill me. I have a family waiting for me outside. Please do not kill me. And St. Maximilian Kolbe, as a Franciscan priest, stepped forward and said, Please, do not kill him. Take me instead. He took the place of that man because he was a father. He was thinking that he could save the life of this father. He could save the life of his family. And so he took his place and St. Maximilian Kolbe died. He was killed in the concentration camp as a martyr of charity, thinking to save that father and his family. We ask the intercession of St. Maximilian Kolbe today, St. Maximilian Kolbe, who thought and saved a family, we ask for his prayers to save also our families today, to lead us closer to God, to consecrate ourselves to God through the Immaculate Virgin Mary. And we also specially pray today for families who are greatly affected by this pandemic. Those who are sick, those who have family members who are sick, who are recovering and fighting for their life in hospitals. We pray for frontliners who are parents. When you go home, you are worried because your family is there. Your children are exposed also to you, to the virus. Many of us are worried. Families who have lost uh, Parents who have lost jobs, lost employment, greatly affected by this pandemic. We come to St. Maximilian Kolbe today. He saved a family. He thought of the welfare of the family. And we know that he is a powerful intercessor for families. As we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, we thank the Lord for the gift of our families. And we allow the children to come closer to Jesus. And as Joshua said in our first reading, I hope that our families would also say this today, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Amen. With confidence, we come and present our needs to God, our Father, who loves all His children. For every petition, let us say, Let your hand be upon us, Lord. Let, let your, your hand be upon us, Lord, that the church of the homes may be built on unselfish love, and that families may know and understand the depth of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, Lord. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs 
and find true happiness in their lives together. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, Lord, that parents may bless their children with attention, caring, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, Lord, that children and those who are considered weak in our society may be supported by those who have more in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, Lord, that eternal peace be granted upon those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your hand be upon us, Lord. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and let us specially lift up to the Lord our own families and loved ones, and especially families who are undergoing struggle and challenges at this moment. Father, your kingdom belongs to little children. Hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of Saint Maximilian to offer our very lives to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Maximilian, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Maximilian Polbe, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that Saint Maximilian received from this holy banquet. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have uh, joined us in this celebration of the Mass and also those who have uh, continuously sent us your help and donations. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy niyong pagsubaybay at uh, sa atin pong paglapit sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mga banal na misa. And uh, we thank the Lord today for the gift of our families. We ask the Lord to protect our families through the intercession of Saint Maximilian Kolbe. And uh, I would like also to thank uh, my classmate who
celebrated this Mass with me, Father Bong Bayaras. And uh, he was my, my classmate in the seminary. And uh, St. Maximilian Kolbe was uh, the patron saint of our class when we were studying in the seminary. And so please pray for us as we continuously serve the Lord in this ministry. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.